Samsung is cooking something serious. According to insider Jacomless Reeve, who closely tracks the semiconductor industry, the upcoming Exynos 2600 will deliver massive GPU and NPU performance gains, enough to beat both Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and Apple's A19 Pro by solid margins. If that turns out true, the Exynos 2600 might not be limited to just the base Galaxy S26, it could power all Galaxy S26 models, at least in certain regions. Leakster Ice Universe also backs this up, hearing from sources that Samsung plans a 50-50 split between Exynos and Snapdragon chips. Here's how the numbers stack up. The Exynos 2600's NPU is reportedly six times faster than the one inside Apple's A19 Pro, and about 30% faster than Snapdragon's 8 Elite Gen 5 NPU. Even the multi-core CPU performance is said to be 14% higher, while the GPU could be a whopping 75% faster than Apple's A19 Pro and 29% faster than Qualcomm's flagship Snapdragon. As for distribution, Samsung is expected to ship Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 variants to the US, China, and Japan, while Korea, Europe, and most other regions will get the Exynos 2600. Interestingly, Samsung's foundries are also reportedly manufacturing Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 chips using their own 2-nanometer GAA node, the same one the Exynos 2600 uses first. So in a way, all Galaxy S26 phones might end up featuring Samsung-made chips, whether Exynos or Snapdragon. And yes, Samsung's lineup is shifting too. The Galaxy S26 Pro might actually be called just the Galaxy S26, the S26 Edge has reportedly been cancelled, the S26 Plus lives on, and of course, the Galaxy S26 Ultra remains the crown jewel. So if these numbers hold true, the Exynos comeback could be Samsung's biggest performance leap yet. What do you think? Will Exynos be able to beat Snapdragon this time? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates.